Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage the content pages on your website. To manage your content pages, access your dashboard. From your dashboard, click on Content and Content Manager. Here you'll find a list of all content pages in your website. For each one, you have the ability to edit the content. You'll notice that the Content Editor page has tools very similar to that of a Word document editing tools. You have Bold, Italicize, Underline, Strikeout, and all other options to format your content the way that you want it to appear. To add a photo, simply place your cursor in the area that you want to add the photo, click on the image icon, and then upload a photo into your website. Click on Browse, and send it to Server, and then click on OK. To resize your image, just click on the image, and then drag the corners. If you'd like to add a link, simply type in your text. Highlight the text that you'd like to be clickable. Click on this link icon and then enter the URL of the page you'd like to direct them to. In this case, I want people to go to my dream home landing page, which I have opened up right here. So I'm going to take the URL of this page, and then I'm going to add it as the destination URL for my content. Right click and paste. Once done, click on OK, and you'll notice that this text is now a link. If we scroll further down, you can edit the URL settings. The URL path settings is basically the extension of this URL. You'll notice that each content page on your website starts with your domain, which follows an extension that identifies this content page. In this case, we can edit the URL path to state something more relevant about what the page has to offer. You can also attach files and add metadata Metadata is very helpful for optimizing your website page for search. This is where you can add a description and keywords to optimize this content page for search. You can also upload a social media sharing image, however, this is completely optional. If we scroll down to the bottom of the page, we can click on Submit. And just like that, we updated our content page. To view this content page, simply click on the link. And here you should be able to see all of the changes that we've made.